Hello everyone, is it possible to turn an ordinary smartphone into a powerful and multifunctional thermal imager? With the Thermal IX2 infrared camera, this has become possible. The manufacturer of this camera is Zinferd, which is a world leader in infrared technology. The characteristics of this infrared camera are impressive, a frame rate of 50 Hz, 15 times magnification, ultra-sharp image mode, manual focusing, 8 siding nets for hunters, a metal case and that's not all. This infrared camera is perfect for hunters who need a thermal imager, electricians and electronics engineers to search for heated parts and joints, as well as car mechanics, engineers and so on. There is great news for every viewer of my channel. A $45 discount on the purchase of this infrared camera. To get a discount when placing an order on the Zinferd website, you need to enter the promo code in VEXLAB. And it's even easier to follow the link that will be in the description under this video, and then the discount will be automatically added to the order. Now in this video I will tell you in detail about the characteristics of this infrared camera, as well as test its capabilities. The Zinferd infrared camera is sold in the black box like this. It looks solid and expensive. At the bottom of the box it is indicated that the model of this thermal imager is Thermal IX2 and it is designed for Android smartphones. Inside the box there is an insert with recommendations for working with the thermal imager and connecting it to a smartphone. It also says here that in order for the thermal imager to work, you need to download and install the Thermal IX application. The app is available on Google Play. There is also a welcome letter from the manufacturer in the box, in which he thanks us for purchasing this device. The Thermal IX2 infrared camera is stored in such a dense fabric case. It is very compact and therefore, if necessary, you can always take it with you and it will not take up much space in your pocket or in your bag. At the same time, it is quite durable and the probability of damaging the thermal imager is minimal. Inside the case, in addition to the thermal imager, there is a Type-C extension cable. And here is the Thermal IX2 infrared camera itself. The dimensions of this camera are quite small, just over 2 cm. Its weight is less than 20 grams. The Zinferd logo is on the back of the camera. When connected to a smartphone and initialized, it flashes. The camera lens is covered with a rubber cap. It holds on securely. A huge advantage and advantage of this thermal imager is the possibility of manual focusing, which significantly expands its capabilities and scope of application. This infrared camera can be used as a thermal imager for hunting, fishing, or during repair and tuning work in electrical and electronics. When you connect the infrared camera to your smartphone, the Thermal IX application starts immediately. There are a lot of settings in this application, now we will look at them in more detail. To visually see all the features of this application, you need some kind of test subject. I will use a soldering iron as such an item. Using manual focusing, you can achieve a very clear image on the screen. I turned on the soldering iron, and the temperature of the tip is gradually increasing. The temperature controller is also heating up. There are five buttons on the left side of the screen. Using the first button, you can take a photo of the image. The second button enables video recording. You can also take photos while recording. 
The next button is a special Zinferd 1 algorithm that doubles the image clarity and increases performance. The fourth button is a gallery where you can view saved photos and videos. And the fifth button is settings. The first point is the temperature setting. Using this slider, you can enable and disable the display of temperature on the screen. You can also select the temperature measurement units here. When the temperature display on the screen is turned on or off, the application always restarts. The temperature in the center of the frame is now displayed on the screen. The red circle marks the hottest area and the blue one marks the coldest. The next item is the PIP function. This function displays an image from the smartphone camera on the screen, that is, it turns out a picture in a picture. This is a very convenient feature. The camera image can be moved around the screen. But the next item includes the infrared picture in picture function. An additional picture with an infrared image appeared on the smartphone screen, which displays the central area of the frame. This image can also be moved around the screen. The next slider flips the image to a certain angle, which can be selected manually. The next item is the automatic shutter switch. When this feature is activated, the image will be automatically adjusted according to the default settings. Next, the shooting settings. You can specify whether temperature data and background information will be displayed in photos and videos. The next point is the general provisions. Language settings. Displaying the Zinferd watermark on the screen. It is currently listed in the upper left corner. You can use this slider to turn it off. And the last point is the thematic setting that is, the light or dark design of the application. The last item in these settings is help. Information about the manufacturer. Privacy policy. The help files, that is the user's manual and the characteristics of the infrared camera. The characteristics of this thermal imager are impressive. The frame rate is 50 Hz. This is a huge plus for a thermal imager. Due to this, the camera captures the movement of an object on the screen very clearly and does it smoothly. As for the lens, its parameters are as follows. The focal length is 9 mm. The temperature measurement ranges from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. It is also possible to adjust the temperature depending on the distance to the object. The ambient temperature and the radiation coefficient. The next item is reviews. If there is any problem with the thermal imager, you can contact the manufacturer to resolve the issues. Next is the software version, firmware version and serial number. There are also five buttons on the right side of the screen. The top button is to adjust the palette of the infrared image. You can choose one of the seven suggested options. The first mode is bird watching. In this case, only the warmest areas of the frame are highlighted. They are currently highlighted in black. The next point is similar to the first, only the warm areas are highlighted in white. The next image mode is hot white. Then hot black. Next, hot red. Iron rainbow and hot green. The next button turns on the reticle or the cross. This feature will primarily be useful for hunters. After 5 seconds of inactivity, the reticle settings are hidden. The aiming grid can be increased and decreased in size, as well as moved around the screen, but for this it needs to be unlocked. For more precise positioning of the cross, you can use the joystick arrows. Swipe up and down changes the color of the reticle, and left and right, its appearance.
Okay. The third button is the thermal picture display mode. The orange eye is the normal mode of operation. The green eye is a high definition and contrast mode. And the third button is ninja mode. In this case, the screen brightness decreases and the hot red palette turns on. Due to this, the hunter will be less noticeable at night. The fourth button places a red cross on the warmest part of the frame and then tracks its movement. And the fifth button is the calibration of temperature readings. There is another function button in this application. Its position on the screen can be changed. Using this button, you can quickly access the image rotation settings. You can also set the radiation coefficient of the object on the screen so that the measured temperature is more accurate. The radiation coefficient that is the degree of blackness can be specified manually or select one of the suggested options. You can also specify the environment and the distance to the object at this point. In the last paragraph, you can select which information will be displayed on the screen. Location, latitude and longitude display, weather, time, speed and compass display. The primary digital zoom is indicated in the upper right corner, two times. The maximum zoom is 15x. When you double-click on the screen, all the function buttons are hidden. So, the Thermal iX2 infrared camera has excellent features and a lot of settings. Without any exaggeration, it is safe to say that this is a very high-quality device. Now I am testing the thermal imager on completely different objects under study. A board with electronic components. The image of the thermal iX2 infrared camera is so clear that you can easily see the designation of the details. When the hot white palette is selected, the image becomes even more distinct. Power Unit When the power supply is turned on, the resistor and Zener diode immediately heat up. The laptop case, it immediately becomes clear where the processor and hard drive are located. Mixing cold and hot water. Pets. The hot red palette. Hot white, hot black and hot green. The wheel of the car a few minutes after stopping. The engine and pipes are in different pallets. It is clearly visible where the greatest heat loss occurs in the house. The Thermal iX2 infrared camera copes well with the functions of a night vision camera. The shots that you see on the screen now, I shot in total darkness, the main camera of the smartphone can hardly distinguish anything. But the infrared camera gives a very clear picture. Hot red. Hot black. And an iron rainbow. The distance to people is about 50 meters.
There is already a distance of about 100 meters. The image is very clear. The digital zoom works great. It is quite obvious that the thermal iX2 infrared camera is really a very high quality device that fully meets the stated characteristics. This concludes this video, if you liked it, then click the subscribe button so that you don't miss the new video on my channel, which will appear very soon. I thank you for watching and see you soon.